Hello, Hello Phil. Hello, fellow YouTubers, and welcome back to Batman Arkham City. On the last episode, we began the game finding out that the Doctor Strange that's in, that's in charge. Of course, he's interrupting us right now. Hugo Strange is the is the warden of Arkham City. Oh, wait, no, no one shut up. Uh, is the warden of Arkham City. Bruce Wayne got arrested and put into Arkham City. You know what, let's just do this. Oop, not pop that, no. We're gonna go to the map so that everyone can shut up. So here's where we are, and here's the courthouse, so you can see that that's kind of what the distance is. Look how big this map is! At least, what we can currently go to. So, this is Arkham City. This is an old part of Gotham that just, you know, they decided to turn into a, <laughs> into a prison. So we can go over here, we can go over here. There's a restricted area dead center in the middle that we can't go to. Surprisingly though, we can go to this thing right here. We just need to follow this. Although we were already here. This is the Arkham City Processing Center. That room right there is where we started off. And then we headed off here and got the crap beat out of us before we left. So now that we're here, that's the place where we need to go. There's also other things. So look at all these. We start off with Batman, start off with Bruce Wayne, start off with Alfred, who we can actually see for the first time. Although, technically, I don't think we'll actually be seeing him in-game. Hugo Strange, who's the main bad in this game, uh, at least at the moment. This is, like, you remember back in Arkham Asylum where I was talking about where some of these characters that we haven't been introduced to yet are in the biography page? Well, Hugo Strange, I think, is one of them. I mean, we didn't meet him until, I think, just now. Vicky Vale, Catwoman, who we've actually played as. Jack Ryder, who we got to see for the first time. We only heard him in Arkham Asylum. Black Mask, we saw his mask in Arkham Asylum, but he's a very minor character. We already pretty much saw all that he's going to be in in the first episode. And the Penguin, so we've already been introduced, and we've already seen more major villains in this game than we did throughout the entirety of Arkham Asylum. Like Catwoman, oh, oh, Catwoman, Peng uh, Penguin, Black Mask, technically, and Strange, we didn't see any of them in the game. We also have, ooh, ooh, we can upgrade things. No, we can't. So this is the expanded upgrade things. There's going to be a lot of things to upgrade. We have the bat suit. We have gadgets. We have combat. And we have predator things. And we also have things for Catwoman. So any of these top five things, there's like, oh, God, there's a lot of things to upgrade. We'll be getting into more of that when we actually have the ability to upgrade. But let's actually start going through the story. So let's head over to the, the courthouse. Now... One thing, one thing that's in this game that's new compared with Arkham City is gliding. Gliding's a little bit better in this game. For instance, suddenly it's a runoff. Goodbye. So we can glide like this. We can also use the right trigger to go down like this. And if we pull up at the last moment, we can actually get some distance. Like so. And remember how much fun we had with Riddler challenges in the last game? Well, they're going to be coming back if this isn't a, a sign of things to come. So, how come we're sitting out here in the cold while all the good stuff's happening in there? Just do what Two Face says. Yeah, don't let him start tossing that coin. If it comes up bad, you could be dead before you know it. Just like Bailey. Yeah, just like Bailey. Two Face put him on a big ass industrial saw and cut him clean in half. You're kidding. Does he look like he's kidding? We had to clean it up. Have you ever seen what comes out of someone when they're cut in half? We have positive visual on Batman. Hi. Leave me alone. Oh, I should mention this. Whenever you have, like, a uh, a marker placed on the map anywhere, that it'll represent itself in the real world using friends. the bat symbol, which is kind of cool. Harvey, friendships end real quick. That coin comes up bad. Let's kick some of these people in the face so they can shut up. And in the face. So I'm just doing this. I mean, I don't need to do this, but I'm doing this just so we can get some good experience. Also, it shows just how 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 uh, more fluid the fighting is in this game compared with Arkham Asylum. Like you can you can kick someone that's very far away. Well, oh my streak ended. I tried to counter when no one was wanting me to counter. Oop, now there we go. I ruined it again. Counter, I think, are a little more friendly in this game because you could be you can be pretty far away. You can just still counter it, just like right there, for instance. Also, I should probably mention this. Most of the equipment that we had at the end of Arkham Asylum, we have with us right now. So, like, if we look, we have the 
remote control battering already. We have the cryptographic sequencer already. We have the battering already, the explosive gel already, and we have the bat claw. So that's, what, several items that we didn't start off with last episode? So here's the courthouse. First rule of Batman, never go through the front door, because that's the stupidest thing. Let's go actually upstairs. There's actually three entrances to this place. This door right here, which is the preferred door, I assume. There's also the, the front door. There's also a back door, but we'll be getting to that one later. Or by later, I mean in this episode. <laughs> The Solomon Wayne Courthouse. Figures this would be dense hideout. The only way to get by in this place is to get ourselves some respect. Be here. That's how we get respect. Show them all that we do things. We should be fair, though. This is a place of justice, after all. Screw justice. Kill her, and they'll all fear us. Bring out the defendant! You certainly know how to keep a girl hanging, Harv. Hey, have you had some work done? <laughs> That's for stealing from us. No one steals from us. Oh, I'm sorry I've been a bad kitty. Untie me, and I'll make it up to you. Let's see if the coin thinks you're telling the truth. This court is now in session. <laughs> Taking out the thug with the gun is the key. Without him, the rest of the room won't be a problem. It's good to see so many new faces in the crowd. Fresh faces for the game. Today we present each of you with an exciting new opportunity. Two opportunities. <laughs> to join with us to create a new force in Arkham. And take this place for ourselves. When the cloud dies, we will own this town. We will rule this town. Or you can just leave now. And we will hunt you down and kill you all. But let's not dwell on the negative. Let's have some fun. Fate delivered a gift to us tonight. A gift that will show everybody that we mean business. And you, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, will be part of it. Help us decide if we should kill the bitch who tried to steal from us. Or let her go to do it again. Like hell we will. There are two sides to every story. Let's hear hers before passing judgment. Nah, let's just kill her and be done with it. So where will it be, distinguished members of the jury? Is the bitch guilty, or should we let her go steal from someone else? Objection. Isn't that a leading question, Harvey? Silence in my court! Let me go, boys. I've got places to go, people to see. <laughs> More like things to steal. Maybe I should just cut both your hands off. Or maybe we should wait for the verdict. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I'm open for a home jury anyway. Alright, I think he's done. I wanted to wait to hear that entire thing. So, there are a lot of people below us. Thankfully for us, most of them are cowards. And will run out of the building as soon as we start attacking. So, oh, we do need to worry about... Hurry up and make up your minds, idiots! I haven't got all freaking night, you know. We do need to worry about Two Face. All right, let's let's uh let's make our presence known. 
We're gonna hurt you. Our friend Batman has arrived. Grab him and cut him in two. You're not welcome in my court, Batman. Oh. Stay still, Batman. Almost got shot. I don't want to get shot. I don't want to get shot. Oop. Ow. <laughs> Overruled. Heads or tails, kitty cat? Which one lets me out of here alive? Not this one. Time to die. I vote for a stay of execution. No gun harm? Shame. This is gonna hurt. Two guns, bitch! And I thought it was cats who have nine lives. How's it hanging, Harv? <laughs> Come to Kitty. Anyone ever tell you that you're full of surprises? I figured you could use my help, Selena. You're right. I think I chipped a nail back there. Funny. So what do you need, Mr. Detective? Protocol 10. What do you know, Selena? Never heard of it. That's not what I wanted to hear. What about Strange? I don't trust him. He's been missing for years, and then is suddenly put in charge of running Arkham City. Rumor has it he's been working with Joker, planning something very special just for you. Maybe that's Protocol 10. The ex-district attorney here has said something. Uh, what the hell? See you soon, Bats. <laughs> this place is dangerous. I like it. You expecting a kiss? It was Joker. You're not safe here. No one is. Nine lives, remember? I need to locate where the bullet entered the court and where it impacted. So, <laughs> I just uh, during He'll that last. He'll kill you for this, Batman. I like how I like how I am currently playing through Phoenix Wright, and we have a very evil district attorney in front of us, who is kind of the same as a. What would he be? Would he be a prosecutor or, or a defense attorney? Either way, he said objection. I almost want to put up the ejection bubble when he did that. So, evidence time. Remember this from Arkham Asylum? We did this, what, several times? Unfortunately, we don't have any of, like, the cool visions anymore. But we do have ballistic trajectory. So, we have the point of entry and the point of contact. So, let's scan this very quickly. The bullet hit the floor here. Now, where did it enter the room? Oh, come on, damn it. You know that. The trajectory the bullet traveled will lead me to the shooter. So, we're going to get some bios for some characters. I'm not going to look at that yet because I think it'll spoil something. So, locate the, locate the source of the sniper shot. Let's go to that very quickly. Right there at that building. Not a long distance. But now we're going to start noticing this. We can't really tell from this map, but there are buildings that we'll be entering. Just like what happened in Arkham Asylum. Unfortunately, unlike Arkham Asylum, most of the things I think are going to be happening outside. I think. I mean, <laughs> in terms of Arkham Asylum, pretty much everything happened inside and nothing really happened outside. But whenever we do get to a building that we do enter, and we'll see the doors that we enter, and we can also go on A, and we can see the room layouts. So, so the, the courthouse isn't really that big. Like I said, there's three exits. But 
now that line will be shown not only in here, but outside as well. So, on the next episode, we're going to call it an episode here. <laughs> Enjoy your time up there, Two-Face. So, on the next episode of Batman Arkham City, we're going to be following this line, trying to find out exactly where it came from. Well, we do know it came from the chapel in the middle of... We don't get you. Joker will. Shut up. <laughs> in the middle of Arkham City. So, we'll be heading over there next time. So, until next time... Hopefully you enjoy. Oh, don't you worry, Toad. I'll find out what this does. Don't you worry. So all you simply need to do to activate these kind of gears is just turn into a ball and start rolling into it. And you'll see that bar on the left side now grow in power until it reaches the top. And a pipe has now appeared. Why this pipe was activated by this weird gear, I do not know. I mean, is there an ability to get this pipe to go back down?